Hey YouTube, and welcome to my little tutorial for this video. Now what I will be showing you today is one, a taken item detector, which is I guess the more simple one, and two, a smart dispenser as I call it. Now, I guess we should start off with, well, the taken item detector, just grab some, grab some red some stuff, and some more stuff, and of course, a command block. Now, what you want to build first is a clock, uh, no matter what type it is. Um, yeah, uh, I'll just build a hopper clock, and this just for demonstration sakes. Um, in best cases, you want to use a pretty fast clock, so uh, faster than this one actually. So, what I will, yeah, as you can see, I will now feed this clock. You can see, yeah. It runs now. The f this command block here will now get powered on enough and on and off. And the thing we'll enter here is clear at P, and then no matter what item. Uh, oh, bollocks! So what you'll enter here is a clear at P, and then the item you want to have detected. So I'll just do diamond in this case. That means this would be ID 264. Now, what this will do now, for for now, is as soon as I picked up, uh, well, that was a bad demonstration. Now, as soon as I picked up a diamond, uh, it will output a redstone signal back there. And this signal can be used for pretty much anything. I use it in two different ways. First of all, you could, of course, then do this. Um, and give something else to the player. For example, um, I think it's 266. So, <clears throat> let's just kind of do two things here. One diamond here, and one diamond here. And it did not work. Here we go. As you can see, we get a gold ingot as soon as we pick it up. <clears throat> Pretty straightforward. Now you could use this for anything as well as powering and allowing dispensers to fire as I did back there. Um, yeah, I will, won't go into great detail what I built there. So, yeah, that was the item detector. Uh, take an item detector, of course. Come on. Okay. Now what I built is the dispensers. Um, now this is not any kind of dispenser. It is a special dispenser because it can... It has the properties of not being able to get looted, I guess. Well, you won't be able to stop it from firing. That's what I'm saying. Um, this is how it works. Oops. Um, it doesn't have its own inventory, you could say. It actually has all the uh, all the arrows stored in the hoppers back here. Now, how this works is that this hopper won't feed in any arrows at all. Uh, boop as long here we go Let, let's just do that as long as torch there is burning so let's just throw in some arrows from the top this is where you would actually feed in the stuff you could place a chest on top of there if you wanted so yeah you see the arrows get in here now I'll just kinda of build it a bit faster so you can follow easier now, what we have here is as soon as we power it from this side here, uh, I'll just go in through theor theor theoretical, theoretical at the moment, sorry. <laughs> and, first of all, this repeater will get powered, and then this torch will get unpowered. That means this, uh, this item hopper will feed, um, ex will feed a, a, a arrow in here. And then this repeater will f uh, will trigger the dispenser and therefore shooting an arrow. So you want to use a rather short signal on this or else it kind of what? Uh, wow I just managed to make the impossible. Now here we go. Yeah that's what I meant. You have to have the right signal and um, usually Something like this should actually be fine in, for, in a hopper clock, so just do that. You can see I will power like that. 
And now as soon as I put an item here, there we go. Fire just fine, as you can see, it will flicker kind of between arrows in there and not anything in there. I could of course spam this thing, but I have to be in this inventory the entire time for it to work that way. So, it's pretty much useless. But you could then, of course, add a infinite storage system up here with spawners and stuff, and I did this back here, I'll just show you. So what we have here is a 64 stack of arrows with a sh very short life expectancy, and therefore despawning pretty, pretty fast, but they live long enough so they could fill this up. So as soon as they take stuff out, they will fill up pretty fast. Yeah, that would, that's something you could do, basically. And this thing's still firing. Uh, stop. There we go. So yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Uh, once again, the world download will be download will be in the description. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. And yeah, have a nice day.